Okay. Starting with 14 and 3, 2, 1, go. Hey everyone, we're back with episode 14 of the Metal Gear Solid playthrough. First round of torture is done. Let's see what happens next. Huh? The plot thickens. Yes, it is the DARPA chief. Uh oh, don't say that. There's a secret between this guy and Meryl. Hell, I'll just say it, because I won't remember to keep it secret. They're, uh, this guy Johnny, who's guarding Snake, and Meryl, end up getting married in four. I don't know if it's a fuck you to the fans from Kojima, because he's been known to do that from time to time. But it doesn't make snake sense for Snake to be in a romantic relationship at all. And I will argue that fact with anyone. Snake is a lone man. The fact that Otacon's able to, like, be his BFF and put up with all his quirks is interesting enough. Tell me the truth, Colonel. Why'd you lie to me? Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far yeah. as I know, as a Look down on him. That's right, Steve. <laughs> the Lex Project. Need to know basis. Is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability. Um. Yes. And tomorrow, the president is Russian counterpart. Was he? Signed the Start 3 Accord. I get it. I'm trying to think if that makes sense in the timeline. No, the president, I don't think he knew about Rex. He knew about, yeah, he signed the Start 3 Accord and he knew about another thing that was being developed. But we'll get to that in the next game. Yeah, dominant power. Suck it, China, Korea, America's always number one. Pull out my patriotic dick in your face. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. God, I love the look of the, the codec stuff in this game. You playing? You gotta settle down. You're out of control. You see, or is there some reason that you I gotta get her some new, like, little jingly balls. I don't know where they all got to. She had, like, five of them. They disappeared. And now she's rip ass and all over the place. She's fast too. She's a small cat, so. Like, like she was staring. She's on her perch and staring at a crow earlier today. It was raining outside, and you know, near the it's in fall, so kind of crows are moving and they're in the trees, and she's staring at. It and I'm like, I don't know if you could take a crow in a fight. Like she's the superior hunter, right? But I don't know. That crow turns and gets a good peck or two on her side. She might be hurt. Anyway. Enough about my cat. <laughs> Trying to figure out what happened to the DARPA chief here. I play him like a damn fiddle. I don't know if you heard that in the background, but she's literally tearing ass over the whole apartment. So athletic. Try not to knock the light, the lamp over, though. Oh, 
What a good guy Snake is. Really. Now there is a little bit of a, uh, you know, time you have to like kill. So there's really unfortunately nothing to be done in these moments. Um, yeah. Nope, wrong person. I'm trying to get Otacon's number. There. Oh, no. No. Don't tell them anything, Snake. <laughs> Nansen. I certainly hope so. This makes for great content. Alright. Magic editing powers beginning. Never mind the magic editing powers. Ocelot wants me. Auto fire. I was going to freeze the video and do editing and stuff, but Ocelot called me back in and it is what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, tell me your little... Because I'm not surrendering, man. You, you better learn your lesson. Shalashaska. <laughs> it's a sponge. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? Okay, here we go. Yeah, no problem. Barely felt it. Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. Mm-hmm. I certainly am, Ocelot. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika, 20th century. 
century, Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism will be born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want you're crazy. To lead a brave new world. Anyway, let's all get off the torture rack for now. Okay, back into the cell. You okay, Snake? Yeah, nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? <sighs> My arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. <laughs> but you can leave out the benzodrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad. Either. Again, if you have vibration features, this is kind of cool. Back in the day on the PlayStation 1. Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. How does that feel, Snake? A little better? How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... Let Naomi share her story because uh, it's actually pretty interesting, so I'm not going to say anything yourself. through it. through school. We weren't even blood related and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to <sighs> talk hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. Oh, there was another. Sorry, I had to uh, what? use the restroom and um, close my one window because it's getting cold. You knew him well? No. 
We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. <laughs>